What's up, boys? I am back with some more weapon specialist here, one of my favorite class mods in the game, and it unlocks a huge number of potential weapons, so there's a ton of build variety here. I'm not looking for anything in particular, since there's so many different weapons, it's kind of hard to do that with this class. Let's get some big crit damage here. But I'm definitely not going for the lead storm, since that's pretty underwhelming. Uh, I guess probably the global damage there. I would love to get another gun platform run with the weapon specialist since that feels extremely good with his passive. Get some good reload speed and some duration and then they'll just last a very long time triggering the passive multiple times a second. I wouldn't mind trying out the smart rifle with the buffs to that and some good levels on it. You can actually empty the clip for it extremely quickly and it might actually be decent for the weapon specialist now. But just whatever cool weapons I see here and the early levels, I'm going to try and build around for this guy. Oh yeah, and if I do get the gun platform, I can do the resource hoarding thing as well with him. If you get the terrain damage for the gun platform, it does have a lot of balance overclocks available, so you're not super likely to get it. Uh, deep core is okay. I've never tried it on the weapon specialist before, so I guess that's what I'm doing now. Let's get the mocap out of these, I guess. Definitely too early for the pay to win. Big pickup radius early on. Status won't really help me. I could convert it to electrical. But I don't think the damage is going to be super relevant, so it would mainly be for the crit chance. The deep core actually isn't bad on some scout builds, but you kind of want to favorite it, and then get some support weapons to go with it, I think. Let's get some early XP, I guess. It's pretty early on, so maybe that'll give me some value. And then I'm mainly looking for fire rate and reload speed upgrades to try and maximize my weapon specialist passive here. Grab the deep core level. Let's see, I think I can get the Nishanka. That would give acid and electrical debuffs and medium reload speed. I think the stubby from Engineer has sidearm available. So those would be some good support weapons here. Those are all scout weapons, so I could go scout gunner. Let me get the fire rate for the deep core. My AoE damage actually isn't even bad with the Weapon Specialist passive doing some extra damage for me. I'll take a blue crit over that. Although my single target seems pretty bad, but I haven't really been trying to hit them that much. Should probably be lining up the lead storm shots now and going for some detonators since they're already ramped up a bit. Uh, let's reroll that and grab a blue damage. To make sure I have enough damage here. Try and get some detonators as they're running through them. My scanner is overloading, Miner. Get a move on. 
Aw, uh, that's okay. I think I'm just gonna take the upgrades for the deep core. Really see what I can do on this class mod. Try and get the detonators right there, hopefully. Take the fire rate for that. Okay, got some nice damage. Should be good enough now. So what do I want here? That would get me medium, and I think I have the other stuff already. I'd say good support weapon since it has sidearm available and it would have the electrical debuff. Kind of like that here. Another deep core into the first overclock. Let's get the damage and reload speed here to really push the stats on it. Make it have a bit more uptime. I'll take a fire rate for that. I want fire rate and reload speed mainly for the stubby to make it better at debuffing. And I guess potency as well would be good for that. Uh, I'll take some proj damage I think. Piercing, that's pretty nice for the deep core. Let's see, the base is four. So you kind of do want the piercing shots overclock to get that up pretty high. Level or potency. Probably only need one or two overclocks for that, so I'm going to push the deep core pretty hard. Unless it's like much higher in rarity. I'll take a potency there. Fire rate for the stubby. Big damage. I guess I'll take that. It's the worst stat for it since it doesn't affect the debuff in any way. So, jury would be okay. Lead Burster is obviously amazing on the Weapon Specialist, but it doesn't really fit the build here. It's kind of a weapon that you want to build around on its own. Decent proj damage, that'll work on everything. Get the lead storm if I can off to the right there. Another deep core level. Medium reload. What's that? Uh, it's 2.35. That's actually pretty slow. Could definitely use some of that and that. Reloads okay there. And we got the sidearm already. Very nice. I think that's the only thing I needed for that. Damage into an overclock. Ooh, we got the high caliber. Fortunately, it does lower the fire rate, which is pretty annoying for a weapon specialist, but doubling the piercing is just so strong for your main weapon. I'll take a fire rate, and then I guess save a bit. If I can get the angle to hit all those at the same time. There we go, finally. Well done, you got the ball. Decent fire rate. But don't really need that too much. And I do need the 18 on the deep core to really push that. I 
I actually could have had a pretty good cryo build here if I converted both the deep core and the boomstick to cryo. Praetorians to finish off that last little bit. Decent fire rate, I'll take that every time. XP scanner is just not good for the scanners, so I guess I'm going gold tip tier, big crit. More crits, or some fire rates. Eh, I'll take that. It kind of gives me some crit chance as well from the electrical debuff, so... Maybe it's worth it. I think the favorite stats on the deep core are damage and reload speed, but each weapon has different stats for that overclock it seems like, depending on what they can use. Kinetic or some reload, I'll take a blue damage. I'm actually kind of shredding those guys when they get close to me like that. I guess it's all of the stubby debuffs stacking up, with the deep core being a guaranteed hit at that range. Yeah, my damage is honestly surprisingly good for this point in the game right now. Uh, level 35, I can probably use that. Fire rate. I'm gonna take the deep core level here and just completely ignore the lead storm. Fire rate for the stubby. Another damage level. All my upgrades on that are like basic though. Could really use some luck to improve that a bit. Decent reload speed, sure. Bit of movement speed might be helpful since I definitely want the ammo rig artifacts for the 50% fire rate but reducing your movement speed. If I can get a bit of movement speed to help out with that, that would be nice. And of course, Pickled Nitra is always insane damage. Yeah, I'm kind of just melting everything. Deep Core is surprisingly decent, considering it's the literal first weapon you get for the game. Decent projectile and kinetic. That would leave me with nine. I could do one reroll. I'll see if I can find something more interesting. I don't know that there's anything great for that. If I could get it up to 18, I could get a huge fire rate increase though, and that is pretty efficient level-wise. Fire rate reload's not bad, so I don't mind that. Let's see, that will get me the level 18. Don't need a paint job. 
So that lowers fire rate and reload speed a decent amount. Oh, it's fire rate. Okay, not reload. I think it used to be reload, but I think that's probably better for it. Let me get a bit more reload. And then nothing there, I think. I guess I'll just hold a bit. So that puts me at 14.52, 1.43 reload, could still use a bit more for that. Fire rates. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. They got a swarming coming. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm so strong. Everything just seems to be dying as it gets close to me. This build is going way better than I was expecting. Come on, ammo rig! It is the third floor, but that is pretty good value since I've been holding some anyways. Give me, give me, give me. Luck? I could use both of those. I'll take a luck give me, give me, at purple. That puts me at 100% crit chance on the dots. Big damage, but I just don't care about the lead storm. Yeah, even the roly-poly semi-elites just milled instantly. Like, look at that! It's just dead from full HP. Another deep core. Magnet in the middle. Save that for a bit later. Yeah. Another reload or some crit damage. That'll go nicely with all the crit from the powder I just got. Damage, not bad. Hello. 
Man, this is one of the easiest runs I've had in a while, Jesus. Deepcore is just like deceptively strong, it seems like. Like he's just dead already. My god. Decent kinetic. Sure. Oh man, I'm just milting him and I can't avoid him there. Another fire rate. What were the balance overclocks on that? Piercing shots is very good. That's not bad. You can also get a 25% fire rate, 25% reload speed for that slot. He's gonna die soon to the weapon specialist passive. Big damage on that. Eh, I'll try it, I guess. Decent fire rates. It's only floor three, so I could still get the, the stubby up to level 18 for a big fire rate increase to it. Oops. Bit of crits or some armor. I'll just push the damage there. Piercing damage. I could just hold a ton of Nitra. But that's pretty good with the piercing shots. Up to 14. Uh, that would be 9 crit. Probably pretty close. Decent kinetic. Well, I guess I'm piercing an infinite number of enemies now. Try again. Some more medium in. reload. Dial it in. 16 piercing. I think the weirdest thing is that even the very first level was extremely easy somehow. I was just never under any threat. And then I just got really insane really fast somehow. Like, look at that piercing on them. My god! This is so insane. Big fire rate, absolutely. Puts me at 22.75 a second. Fire rates. Eh. Just push the deep core as hard as possible. Oh. 
ammo rig. And we got it! 34.13 a second. Armor, some potency, or some crit. I'll take a purple, I guess. Fire rate, uh, probably not putting overclocks on the boomstick at this point. Yeah, my damage is so high I can't really keep them alive now unless I got a ton of movement speed as well. Probably crit out of those. More piercing? I think it's complete overkill, but it's funny. Some fire rates. Can't get the reload speed now. Big crit chance. Fire rates. And I guess hold a bit of nitro for the powder. So that puts me at 20 piercing. For a weapon with a base of four. As soon as they get around the corner into my line of sight, it's just instant deletion. Yeah, this is one of the easiest runs I've had in quite a while. And I was not expecting that at all for just the standard scout weapon. Don't really need pickup. Let's see if I can get anything cooler. Not really. Uh, more electrical stacks, I guess. Wait, I do have the gold tipped. That was not a good idea to reroll that, actually.
more crits. More reload damage and crit, sure. So for the boss fight, I'm at 131% 273 damage. Some decent flat damage. Oh, I could lower myself a bit for the mocap. If I can get a trash mob, it won't do too much to me and not die instantly. I'll take an egg hit, I guess. Puts me at 186% damage. Big crit chance, why not? I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. Man, that was a confusingly easy run. It didn't even feel like I was that strong. It was just like everything would just melt as soon as it got into close range of me. Hundred and forty-six percent crit chance. Hundred and sixty percent damage. Got the ammo rig like I wanted. Actually, pretty good damage artifacts. Everything increases my damage here. So I guess that's one big thing. Impressive work, Miner. The Dreadnought never knew what hit it. So we got some big stats. A huge amount of piercing at 20. 250% times 200%. Very nice fire rate, 36 and a half per second. Reload speed could have been a bit better. And look at the number of basic upgrades I have on the deep core as well. Only one legendary, two purples. A lot of basics. A lot of greens, a lot of blues. Barely anything above that. Got the sidearm for some extra damage here. Fire rate, reload speed for some more debuffing. The only legendaries were damage, which is kind of useless for it here. 1.7 with another 500,000 from the dots. See if I can add up the weapon specialist passive. That would be about four, 34 or 35. So maybe three million total. Pretty low there. So I guess deep core isn't the best for the passive, but somehow that run was so strong it doesn't even matter. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.